Anthrax disease. The symptoms, mode of infection, and control measures. Anthrax is a bacterial infection that primarily affects mammals such as cattle, sheep, goats, horses, pig, wild herbivores, including humans. The causal organism responsible for anthrax is the bacterium Bacillus anthracis. It is zoonotic, infectious, and a notifiable disease. Anthrax is a zoonotic disease, meaning it can be transmitted from animals to humans. An infectious disease is an illness that is spread from one animal to the other very quickly. A notifiable disease is an illness that, by law, must report it to public health authorities when diagnosed in order to track and control its spread. Symptoms of anthrax The animal develops a fever. Swelling may occur at the site of infection, particularly in the throat or neck region. This can lead to difficulty swallowing or breathing. Difficulty breathing Respiratory distress can occur with rapid and labored breathing. In pigs, the throat swells causing suffocation and death. Lack of coordination Infected animals may display a lack of coordination or paralysis. Blood stains in the feces and in milk. Sudden death Death often occurring within hours of infection. Watery blood comes off the body openings such as nose, anus and mouth. The blood does not clot easily. The carcass of an anthrax attack lacks rigor mortis. The animal does not become stiff after death. Mode of infection Anthrax spores are highly resistant and can persist in the environment for long periods. The mode of infection in livestock usually involves the following. Ingestion Livestock can become infected by ingesting spores from contaminated soil, water, or feed. Grazing on pastures contaminated with anthrax spores is a common mode of transmission. Inhalation In rare cases, animals can inhale spores, particularly if the spores are aerosolized during certain agricultural practices. Skin contact Anthrax spores can also enter the body through wounds, cuts, or abrasions on the skin, leading to localized skin infections. Control measures of anthrax Give anti-anthrax serum to cure the disease. Vaccination using blanthrax vaccine. Imposing quarantine and isolating suspected or confirmed cases of anthrax to prevent the spread of the disease to other animals. Wear protective clothing when handling potentially infected animals or carcasses. Use appropriate protective clothing, including gloves and masks. Prompt carcass disposal. Safely dispose of the carcasses of animals that have died from anthrax. This should be done by incineration or deep burial, ensuring that the spores are not released into the environment. How to manage carcass infected with anthrax? Quicklime is sprinkled on the carcass to kill the bacteria. Thorns are placed on the hole before filling it with soil to prevent scavenging animals from digging up the carcass. The outbreak area should be fenced to prevent other animals from grazing there or digging up the carcass. Alternatively, a trench can be dug and the carcass burnt with petrol to the bone. Anthrax in human beings Humans can also contract anthrax if they come into contact with infected animals, animal products, or spores of the bacteria. The disease can manifest in different forms, including cutaneous anthrax, skin infection, inhalation anthrax, lung infection, and gastrointestinal anthrax, digestive system infection, with symptoms varying depending on the route of exposure. Preventing and controlling anthrax in livestock is essential not only for animal health but also for public health, as anthrax can pose a risk to humans. Vaccination, proper management practices, and prompt intervention in suspected cases are key components of anthrax control measures. This bacterium can form spores that are highly resistant to environmental factors, allowing them to survive for extended periods in soil and other environments.